Hello and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Today I'll be doing an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. We're going to be unboxing Halloween Bedroom by Miss Butter D. Um, this particular kit came in the Halloween mystery box. I did not purchase the mystery box, but I did purchase um, this painting, a D stash. Um, it is 65 centimeters by 91 centimeters, so she's really long. Um, this is, of course, one of Diamond Art Club's, um, the new box that comes out now. And I believe this has a card in it. I wasn't aware of the cards until recently, so I'm kind of excited to see what it is. I did look up information on it, and depending on what kind of cards you get, you get a certain amount of points. And once you reach a certain amount of each card, you can cash it in for um, free um not free, but you can cash it in for a discount, um, monetary discounts on your order. As we look on the box, um, it has 53 colors, including one AB, um, one iridescent, three fairy dust, and has a total of 96,000 diamonds. Woo, that's a lot. So let's get into her. I thought I cut her top, but okay. I'm gonna say maybe I didn't. I didn't cut it good. This came to me really quick. I've had it for days. I think it came on. Was it Saturday? It came Saturday. I guess it's not days. I had it for a day. So it comes, of course, with um, the newer two kit. Inside this packet is the um, legend. And then we have the canvas. And then we have the card, card out. If we kind of look at it, it is Halloween Bedroom by Miss Butter D. It gives you the um, sizes in inches and centimeters. It's really holographic and pretty. Um, on the back, it's a trading card. You're supposed to scratch off below. I don't know what we're scratching it off for, but I guess I need to scratch it. I'm going to have to read read up more on it. Oh, yeah, that's really cool, y'all. So I have my. This is my very first card out of all the hundreds of paintings I own. <laughs> And I bought it in a D-stash. Let's take a quick look at the toolkit again. So you get um, a bag of baggies. You get the new putty pin. It has a four-placer on it. Inside of the tray, which is a really, really nice tray, You get some putty, a heart of pink wax, a regular pen tip, which I find that interesting. I guess you can stick it in this end if you want to. That's kind of cool. I don't remember getting this before, the regular pen tip. You get a seven placer. And then the new tray is really nice. I like it because the walls are really high. I hope you can see that. Just by looking at it so the drills don't just shake out. Take a look at the canvas. Your canvas does come in a plastic protective bag. I do put my painting back in that bag. Now this is interesting. I did read about these pink perforated lines. And if they accidentally put it on the wrong direction, it could kind of stain the canvas. Let's 
Y'all look at these drills. Look at these beautiful fall colors, which would be perfect for Halloween bedroom. Look at that beautiful fall palette. One of my viewers gave me the exact color of this palette, and I cannot remember what it was. Oh, my memory is horrible. I'm going to kind of set these drills to the side so we can get her all the way open because she is long. You all know it can't be one of my videos if something doesn't drop. That was the legend. So they uh, made the pink lines and the perforated perforated cover so you can see uh, where to tear it better. That's what I believe that I read. I've been I haven't really been on the D um been in a D the D the D A C V I P group a lot lately. Um but I have recently because I like to see what everyone got in their mystery kit. That's fun to me to see what people got. So hopefully it's not too much glare. Oh, she is so cute. Yeah, she was worth it. The last couple paints of Miss Birdie I haven't purchased because they were rounds. So I'm trying to just stick more to squares. I will get around if it's just like must have, must have. And I am considering getting the um, the makeup routine one. But I haven't 100% decided yet. But she is cute. I love it. So let's take a look at the um, the sticker sheet slash legend. You get a you get a real nice um, image of the painting. You get the diamond colors, the shape, the canvas size, and then a place to put your start and end date. Um, then you get your stickers for when you kit up. Diamond Art Club, they like to use letters, numbers, and symbols. And again, this one has 53 colors. It said it had one AB, one iridescent, I believe, and then three fairy dust. So we'll get to take a look at those in the drills. Very nice. I have yet to work on one of these um, newer kits from the, um, you know, one of the new kits from the new box yet, so I haven't got to use the new stickers. I kind of just want to zoom in on the canvas so you can really see her. So let's kind of zoom it in. Okay, so here we have the top. She, I love the way Miss Butter D draws her characters. She just looks so cute and so sassy. You see, you see her curtains in the background. She has like a witch's hat picture. Then you got her mirror. She has her post-it notes on her mirror. If you look and see, I'm gonna come down some more. She has her little candle going. She's putting on her makeup. If you look behind her, it's like her little, her table has like her jewelry box and her perfume bottles. And then right here, she's got a little, a little potion brewing. Then if we kind of go back up, I love her hair. She has on the earring, look her ponytail. That's me, I always have a ponytail, y'all. Then again, her window in the background. Look at the details of the curtains. This is so nice. Then she's sitting in her chair. So cute with the stars and moons on it. Little spider hanging down. She's super sassy, has those legs crossed. 
with those high heeled boots. And we have a plant down here in the corner. And then she looks <laughs> like she has some kind of voodoo doll down here. We have some skulls. And then she has a potted plant with pumpkins in it. I thought that was so cute. Y'all, this is cute. This is cute. I am glad that I um, purchased her. I'm not upset that I didn't get the mystery box because it was a chance in the mystery box. I may not have got her anyway. And usually um, we have mystery boxes. Is some people that this is not their style of art. So this was obviously not the style of art um, from the lady that I bought it from. So I really appreciate her. Um, just beautiful. So now let's kind of take a look at the canvas now. So again, we have a legend. Our legend is at the um, top left and the bottom right. Again, we have this new perforated cover with lines to kind of help. It's supposed to help tell you where to cut it. I have not used a canvas yet with the perforated cover. I'm not a six, I don't section off that way, so I don't know. But at the bottom of the canvas, you get a thumbnail and Halloween bedroom. It gives you the size in centimeters and inches. The artist, Miss Butter D, and then Diamond Art Club. I'm at the very top of the canvas. It says, do what makes you sparkle. That's Diamond Art Club's um, slogan. Um, the canvas, it is um, scalloped with some type of surgeon to help prevent fraying. The canvas is really soft and velvet feeling. They use a material called tarpaulin. So let's try to find out where the special drills are. Well, no, I'm going out of order. I'm going to show you the drills first. So I'm going to show you the drills first, and then we will look and see where the special drills are. And my apologies for that crinkling. I'll cut it down so it's not so loud. So I'm going to zoom in just a smidge. And let's go. So our first color is 402. We have um, our first fairy dust. I have never seen an orange fairy dust. Or it's so pretty. Look at that, y'all. Can y'all kind of see the fairy dust on it? 3712. 761. We have two bags. 3740. That's a really pretty purple. Oh my goodness. Two bags. Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. Four. Four bags. I say this every time, but I want to do this painting. <laughs> two, two, three. 3722. Here's another fairy dust, a yellow fairy dust. I have seen this one before. Very pretty. I don't know if it comes out on the camera. 921. 3853. And we have 814. And we have a lot of bags of 814. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 814. Then we have 3041. We have 3856. It looks like it's three bags. Okay. Then we have 760 and it's two bags. And then 754. 
Then we have 3042. That's really a pretty purple. 552. I think this is the iridescent diamond. Very pretty. 3726. 604. 221. 553. 3328. 727. 3803, we have two bags. 3721, we have two bags. 38, excuse me, 3688, 3778, 977, 3687, and we have two bags of that. 915 and 3041. So pretty. I just love this color palette. These are some beautiful purples and mauves and peaches. This is our last little strip of stragglers. 817, 3830, 632, 3033, 920, 154, 3824, 350, 831, 356. Our, our last fairy dust right here is the white, it's so pretty. 452, 733, 453, 758, 543. This is our one and only AB. That is so pretty. It's like a chartreuse green. And if you're new with a diamond painting, I forgot to tell you, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's pretty much a standard drill with a real pretty iridescent coating. I think it comes out in the camera pretty good. Then we have 152. And last but not least, 902. So it's almost a really pretty color. And she is pretty big, so I'm probably going to be struggling trying to find the special drills, but I'm going to do my best. So let's start with the AB. Okay, the AB is easy. I already see it. It's in the plant. So I do want to kind of zoom in just a titch. So all in the plant. This symbol right here is the AB. So it's a lot of it either outlining the leaves or completely in the leaves. So that's pretty. And I'm sure it's in the pumpkin leaves as well. And it is it's all around here, coming up here, this entire section of the leaf, the tip of this leaf and this entire section of the leaf. And I don't think it's anywhere else, but let me just kind of look up here. No, the only place I see it is in the leaves. So our next is the iridescent diamond. Oh, that is going to be cute. It's in her chair. It's the moon and stars in her chair. That is going to be so cute. So all of the decorations in her chair is that iridescent diamond that is going to be beautiful oh my goodness let me show y'all again in case, case we have forgotten that right there is going to be all in the moon and stars in her chair that is going to be so cute so all of this is the iridescent diamond just all over here just everywhere in her chair all around here all of this. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Just every spot in her chair is an iridescent diamond. And let me make sure it's nowhere else. I don't feel like it would be, but let me just double check. Nope, that's it. And then next, we start with our fairy dust. 
Our first one is a orange plus signal. Is that going to be in the pumpkin? No, I thought it would be in the pumpkin, but it's not. It's in the curtain. I'm thinking it's in the curtain. Okay, well, we'll start down here. I call this a voodoo doll because of the pen. I'm not sure, but right here is some of the fairy dust. Okay, maybe I'm on. Okay, y'all, it is in a pumpkin. It's all, I don't know how I missed, how I looked straight at that and didn't see it. I guess I was looking for it to be a darker plus signal. I mean, plus sign. But it's all in the pumpkin. I figured it would be. So the pumpkin is a fairy dust. And then I think it's in the pumpkin over here, too. It is. It's in the pump, the pumpkin on her little cauldron. So this pumpkin has the orange fairy dust. And then I was thinking maybe the curtains. Now I might be wrong. Nope, it's definitely in her curtain. So... This whole section is fairy dust. This whole swath is fairy dust. That's fairy dust. That's fairy dust. And all of this is fairy dust. So that is going to be too cute. Also right here and right here. So that's the orange fairy dust. Our next one is that yellow fairy dust. Oh, where is it? I'm thinking maybe the candle. Yes, it's in the candle. So, as you look at the candle, all of this is fairy dust going all around. It's in the flame. It's right here, kind of in the smoke. It's up here in the smoke. Can y'all see that? Yeah. It's up here. All this is fairy dust. These two papers are also, uh, post-it notes are also fairy dust. Oh, I see something. Some more fairy dust. It's also fairy dust lining right here in the picture this is fairy dust right here maybe in the tie of the curtain uh, it is fairy dust on this skull on the back of her chair or the arm of her chair oh that's fairy dust it is also fairy dust lining in this area right here this fairy that, that yellow fairy dust is in a lot of places um, it is also, also excuse me, <laughs> outlining, outlining, I'm sorry, the cauldron, the mirror in her makeup tray. Also highlighting in little spots down her sleeve right here, right here, and right here. So that's going to be too cute. The skulls on her shoes are that real pretty light yellow fair dust. And then... The face of a voodoo doll, and right here, and right here, that fairy dust is everywhere. It's in the, it highlights the edge of the pumpkin. It is all around the edge of the, um, of the skull, and all of them highlighting the skulls right here. And then if you come down right here, all oh, this is that fairy dust. That's going to be cute, y'all. And I just realized this is a rug right here on the bottom. So, yeah, that fairy dust, that yellow fairy dust is everywhere. And then last, we have the white fairy dust, which is this symbol right here, the circle with the dot. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more. So, all of that is the white fairy dust all around there. The top of the skull is white fairy dust. <laughs> the spider's eyes is white fairy dust. And then the highlights. Sorry, the highlights on her boot right here is white fairy dust. All those highlights on both boots. So all the white you see in both of her boots is the white fairy dust right here. Oh, let's see what else is it. On her sleeve right here. I think this. I don't know. I think it's like. A, I don't know if it's actually a sleeve. Or like an armband. But that's fairy dust. Let's see anywhere else. 
Oh, I also missed this right here. This is a little bit of that yellow fairy dust right here on the necklace hanging out of the jewelry box. I did miss that. I don't think I see any more of the white fairy dust. Y'all, this is going to be beautiful. Y'all know me. I always want to do whatever paint I unbox, but I really want to do this one. I've never and I have never done a Miss Butter a Miss Butter D painting yet either, even though I own tons of them. She is just, she's one of my favorite artists. Well, all right, guys. How many of y'all got the mystery box and got this painting, or who's gonna buy it in a D stash like me? Let me know down in the comments. Because, again, usually it's someone who got this painting, but this is not their art style. They probably wanted the other paintings with the sea witch and the little dragon. And they may have got Miss Butter D and Randall Spangler and didn't like it. Or they may not like square drills. You have some people that don't like square drills. They like round drills. So people may be de-stashing for any, you know, any reason. Just be careful of your de-stashing and... You know, do your due diligence. You know, check their Facebook page. Make sure it's not a new page. Make sure it looks like they've been on Facebook for a while and they're active. So you can um, at least try to protect yourself. And always use PayPal goods and services when you pay. Don't pay with Cash App or nothing else. Well, all right, guys. That is all I have today. We have Halloween Bedroom by Miss Butter D. I think this paint is just beautiful. I love it. Y'all know I want to kit it up, but I already have Mix and Magic kit it up. And, well, I really can still kit it up. It's not like I don't have containers, let's be real. But I don't know. I might just kit it up anyway because that's just me. I also want to kit up Magic Broth Ramen Shop, too. It's so much I want to work on. So much I want to work on in so little time. But next week, I am on vacation, so I'm expecting to use that week to really get some painting done. So... Well, that's all I have today. Um, I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, I just want to thank everyone for taking the time out of the day to watch my video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.